In the summer of 1287, the Italian merchant Marco Polo visited various places in China, including Chengdu. His observations and experiences were documented in the travels of Marco Polo, which sparked endless curiosity and fascination about China among Europeans. Today, the story of Marco Polo still lingers at Anshan Bridge in Chengdu. Over 700 years later, Italy has become China's fourth largest trading partner within the European Union, while China has become Italy's first trading partner in Asia. The two countries have established 86 pairs of sister provinces, cities, and regions. Since the implementation of China's visa-free policy for Italian passport holders starting in December 2023, Sino-Italian economic and trade cooperation has become even closer Join it right in a new chapter of openness and mutual benefits. Ma, eh, credo che il, il significato e l'importanza di, di questa manifestazione sia eh, prima di tutto per far conoscere delle aziende italiane che operano in dei settori comunque di nicchia, eh, farle conoscere al pubblico e alle controparti cinesi. E inoltre diverse delle, delle aziende che sono, che sono presenti uh, dentro l'Expo sono aziende che sono per la prima volta o in Cina o nel sud ovest e quindi questo è molto importante perché appunto questa è un'occasione per far conoscere loro uh, una realtà comunque nuova che, per far capire meglio le, le potenzialità che, che ha questa, questa zona della Cina. The purpose for our company is to present our innovative technology on the Chinese market. The problem that our technology is tackling is a global problem and the need for that is in every country in the world. So we are looking for partners to share the development of our technology, make the best for the local market. There are companies that work in the fully value chain of decarbonization. I found a lot of companies that they have a real technology and there are very good cooperation that we can try to boost. We have a lot of companies that can cooperate with the local company to promote the decarbonization, create the right connection between China and Italy. Chengdu has a great natural environment resources and since many years already paid a lot of attention to a sustainable development. As a matter of fact, Chengdu is the pilot city of the park city concept. So the fact to be based in Chengdu and to have this activity in Chengdu is not by chance. It's because we do believe that Chengdu can have a great cooperation with the Italian companies in the environmental protection sectors. Italian and Chinese can be beneficial and synergic for develop new business in China, in Italy, in Europe and even in third market. We have a lot of synergies. Now is the moment to have a concrete collaboration, creating value and do more business. And Sichuan and Chengdu is very important for us. So we will do a lot of activities in Chengdu. The renewable energy and the target that the government set for 2030 and 2060 decarbonization are common goals for China but also Italy.